Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi, I am Sunny and I am a software engineer. In this video today, we will see another machine coding round question of browser stack. In my previous video, I have talked about the first question which used to be asked in browser stack machine coding round and that was about implementing a log watching solution. And I got a lot of DMs about bringing a video on the next machine coding round question. So in this video, I'll cover the next machine coding round of browser stack and we'll see how you can implement the solution. For those who are new to this channel and are not aware about what I'm talking about, let me tell you that if you are appearing for an interview at browser stack then you should be aware of these two problems which i'll be telling you for the first machine coding round question i have already created a video and prior to that i have also shared my interview experience with browser stack you can watch both of this video to have an understanding of what you can expect in these interviews now in this video we will be talking about the second machine coding round of browser stack because i have got a good response on this video where i talked about the first uh, machine coding down problem of browser stack and also received a lot of DMs where people are asking me to upload the second machine coding down problem. So let me tell you what you will get from this video. First, you will get to know about the problem statement. We'll go through the second machine coding down problem of browser stack. We will understand what it is about and then we'll see how we can approach it. We'll see the total solution of it, how you can implement in your preferred language and also we will do a demo like how that particular thing works right so I'll, I'll also do a code walkthrough and then we'll show you the demo of that particular solution okay so i hope that uh, sounds good so let's directly jump to the problem statement so let me go back to the intellij so here is the problem statement it says implement a simple java web service that allows one to interact with two browsers it could be a google chrome mozilla firefox or any other browser okay and if you see the question here it says first browser can start other browser with a ui stop it clean cache history etc and get the current active tab okay and then it says restful web service was to be implemented okay we'll see what it means but before that uh, let me tell you what it asks for is that you need to create a java program which will interact with your browser so let's say in the command basically in the url so basically you have to build some rest apis okay so the prerequisite for the video would be knowing about web services you should be knowing how you can implement restful apis okay and uh, you can use any language any frameworks for that uh, now let's uh, come back to the question so it says that if you enter this url you should start google chrome and with the following address whatever you have provided so if you closely look at this uh, url what it says http then the domain name and then it has a command start and then uh, in the query parameter you basically provide the browser name and then the url so it basically says that uh, open this particular url on chrome okay so i hope this command is clear to you similarly it has a uh, other command which is stop which basically tells you that you need to stop the browser and you give the browser name it could be chrome firefox anything basically let's say on your system if this browser is open let's say chrome uh, if you fire this command on one of the uh, browser then it should close the specified browser okay we'll see everything in demo but just for the idea what this uh, problem statement is about i'm just going through it so here in the third command it says get active tab here basically given the browser name you should get the uh, url of the active tab let's say your chrome browser is open with three tabs and you just need to return the active tab url so yeah if these things are not clear just for, just be with me uh, till the end you will be able to understand each and every uh, bit of it and the last one is cleanup command it basically uh, says that given the browser name you should basically clean up the history or uh, browsing sessions or cache right it, it may include anything you can uh, simply ask to your interviewer and then you can implement accordingly so i hope the problem statement is clear just to uh, reiterate uh, you need to implement a simple java web service where your java program should interact with the web browsers okay and you should be able to fire up this command okay so let's let's see the solution uh, we'll first go through the uh, solution and uh, uh, the idea behind it why i implemented that way and uh, uh, we'll also talk about how you can implement the similar solution in any of your preferred language we'll see how uh, how we can do that at the end and at the end we'll also demo the working of the application we'll show you how you can uh, basically run your application and then how you can execute all these commands okay so i hope uh, we are good till this part so let's move to the next part so here if you see i have created a java project basically uh, if i show you the build file i'll be using java with spring boot okay uh, basically i am using spring boot for 
implementing the RISC full API. So you can take any of your uh, preferred language with the preferred framework to do this. So now uh, let me show you. So I have created a simple controller over here. Uh, and also if you see, uh, uh, this is the code which I have written during my uh, interview, but uh, you should have created a service layer as well so that you can simply take the request at your controller and then you delegate the uh, processing of the task in the service layer or in some different layer rather doing it in the same controller layer okay mm -hmm. that is in in terms of uh, uh, following the good practices but yeah we'll focus here only on the solution we'll not see any uh, coding standard as of now so let's uh, go through this code so as you can see i have written a controller i have just uh, marked this with at the rate risk controller because in spring framework you just need to uh, use this annotations to implement uh, restful apis so here as you can see i have created three different endpoints the first one is start the second one is stop and the third one is get url and if you just compare it with the question you will see that uh, the, uh this is what they have asked to implement right your url should look like this where in the url you should see the command whether it is start stop clean up or get url right so based upon that i have just created these three endpoints and now we'll go through each of them to understand what i have used to implement this okay so if you see here that i have used a process builder and for those who don't know what is process builder process builder is a java class which allows you to create and uh, interact with different processes running on your system okay so you can read more about process builder but in short if i have to tell you what it is you can simply provide any command uh, to this process builder and it will help you to interact with different processes so let's say if i want to open a web browser using java program i can simply use process builder i can give some command and it will follow it and it will start that process so for this endpoint what i wanted to implement is uh, i wanted to implement something where i can simply uh, enter the browser name and the url with which i want to open so for example let's say i want to open a chrome browser and i want to open let's say facebook.com on that so if i take this url and copy it in some browser let's say firefox and if i hit enter it should open the chrome web browser as i mentioned chrome over here and then it should open the uh, particular uh, domain let's say if i entered google.com it should open the google.com homepage. okay so we'll see this in action but let's first focus on the uh, implementation so here uh, the first thing i'm doing is i'm using a process builder and process builder is not, nothing but a java class so if i show you just the library it is coming from java libraries okay so you can simply uh, write process builder you can uh, initialize this you can uh, put the command so here if you see it take a command basically uh, where you can simply say open minus a and then the browser and the url name okay i'll talk more about this command how i uh, get this command and what does it do but for now just understand that this command will help you to start a process so for this command it will open a browser with the specific url let's say if i mention in the query param the browser as firefox it will open a firefox and then if i mention the url as facebook.com then it will open the facebook.com okay so i hope this part is clear but how we can uh, get this url how do you know like which url url to use to do certain task right so that will come to like how you can uh, get that but just for uh, the basic understanding purpose i hope this is clear what this process builder does it basically takes a command and then you can simply do a process builder dot start and it will execute this command so this is as simple as that i hope you understand and here i'm just do a basic logging where i'm uh, logging the query parents basically okay so i hope uh, this is clear this endpoint is clear let's uh, see the other endpoints and then we'll uh, simply start the application and we'll see the demo so let's see what we are doing here so we have created this endpoint stop and the query param it accepts is the browser name basically so here if you look at this command i'm using pgrep command uh, which basically go through the list of processes uh, for whatever uh, input you have given and then it gets you the list of process ids okay so so here i have created a process builder with this command and then i am simply doing a process builder dot start which will initiate this process builder and then what i'm doing here is i'm just reading through the inputs basically it, it fetches you the list of process id so here what i'm doing i just created a input stream uh, where i did process dot get input stream and then i pass it to the buffer reader and buffer reader will help you to read it like as a string so i'm just reading it reading the process id uh, from this output and then i'm storing it in a variable 
and I am just and then what I did I created a another process builder with a command kill and then the process ID then what this will do command will simply kill that particular process right so I hope that is clear so just to reiterate I am here providing the browser name it could be Chrome Firefox anything and it will help you to get the process ID of that particular process and then you simply run a command kill and then that particular process ID and here I do pb.start so this will basically get that process id and will kill that particular process so this will help you to implement the stop endpoint okay similarly we have get url uh, endpoint where if you see what i'm doing is i am again here using the process builder so uh, here the command is a bit different so here in the command i'm telling that tail application this basically tail application chrome to get the url of active tab of the front window so this is a command which i have uh, taken from the internet you can also take help from that there but i'll, I'll tell you how uh, i usually prefer to do it because basically you may not be knowing what command to execute whether it is uh, about opening a browser whether it is about getting the process id whether it is about uh, getting the active tab whether it is about cleaning up the history of a browser you might not be knowing which command to use right so for that i'll tell you a trick how you can get that basically how would you know that which command you want to execute but the whole idea behind it is you should be aware about the concept how you can implement this particular thing where your java application interacts with your browser right so the whole idea is that you can simply use a process builder which is a java class and using this your java application can interact with the processes of your system on which you are basically running this application right and the only thing which you will be requiring is the command right using which you can open the browser you can close the browser or you can clean up the history right this you can get from the internet there is one more way which i'll show you how you can uh, get those command but the whole idea here to understand is how you can write an application it could be in any language right java python c plus plus but you should be knowing that there should be some library which can allow you to execute processes within the system right this is the idea command can be anything right you can simply search for that particular command on internet and you can try that command on your terminal you can go to any terminal so let's say uh, I quickly show you this command how you can do that so let's say I use this command open minus a and then the browser name and then the URL name okay so let's say if I let's say I run this command open minus a and then Safari so if you see it opens up a Safari browser for me right so this is that simple right you can simply get the command you can try out on your terminal and if that works you can simply use it in the process builder and in case of any other language you just figure out what is the equivalent class for process builder in some other language maybe it is c plus plus or python and then you try out this particular thing right where you can just simply put the command and then you can write a simple method to execute that right so i hope the idea behind this implementation is clear now you should be knowing that what needs to be done in order to achieve something so that is what i wanted to convey uh, if you have still any confusion put down in the comment i'll try to answer those okay so i hope the solution part is clear let's uh, quickly wrap up the last endpoint here i have written the osa script command this is again a mac based command you can uh, search for it and then uh, i have written a command which will get me the current tab information okay and then i did the usual thing where i do a process builder dot start and then uh, in the similar manner i use the input stream to get the active tab url basically and then i'm logging it okay so uh, i'll put this code in the link you can uh, go through it again if you have any queries you can uh, drop me a comment or a you can reach out to me on linkedin i'll try to explain those okay the solution part is very simple only one thing which i would recommend you is to uh, try out this by yourself you implement this uh, create all these endpoints and try to run it by yourself then things will become more clear okay for now let's uh, quickly run this application to show you how it works so i'll go to the main class i'll just run the application and uh, by the time it comes up i'll just close uh, these tabs okay let me so yeah uh, our application is up i have also uh, kept the commands over here uh, if you see just for quick reference so i'll just copy this so let's say i go to chrome i paste this and here what it says it says start browser firefox with this url okay and if i hit enter it should open up the yeah 
So now if you see, it opens up the Firefox browser with facebook.com in it, right? And similarly, if I change the URL, let's say if I call it Safari, it should open up that. Yeah, now if you see the Safari browser comes up and then facebook.com it opens up right now similarly we can check for the stop command so let's say i copy this url you can uh, use this urls for your reference as well it will remain in the code i just paste it so what it says that stop browser firefox okay let me just bring the firefox in front so this is the firefox browser which is open and if i hit enter over here this should close it right so now you see that firefox browser is closed okay so i hope uh, things are clear now this is working you can try it by yourself uh, let me quickly show this as well uh, the active tab so let's say let's say i am on safari and here the active tab is let's say fast.com and if i hit enter on this url so i am just running this on safari so the url is that yeah the url says get url for browser google chrome okay and this output you will see on the here only so if i just hit enter now you, if you see on the page you get the active url which is fast.com for chrome right so all of these endpoints are working as expected i have uh, implemented till this in the interview and that was pretty much enough to crack this round so uh, you can try out for uh, other commands as well which is clean up the history and the cache so you can try it by yourself and also let me know how you have implemented that put it in the comments so that other can see uh, apart from this one thing which i would like to tell you more is that uh, you can you take help from chat gpt in order to come up with a different solution let's say if you are trying out on some different language or framework you can definitely take help from uh, chat gpt you can provide the similar class and then ask for relevant uh, equivalent class in specific language i hope that much you know how to use chat gpt but apart from that uh, on the command thing right where i mentioned that how would you know which command to use right in order to open a browser so what you can do is you can simply either take help from a uh, internet or from chat gpt where you can simply go ahead and mention uh, uh, that i want to open a browser using a command from terminal or from like using some command so what you can simply search for is that i want to open let's say chrome browser with command what would be the command you can simply uh, ask chat gpt that what command to use in order to open a browser using process builder and it will come up with that particular command so if you see i have tried out many things uh, on chat gpt and with that i was able to come up with different uh, commands okay and different ways of implementing this solution so i hope uh, things are pretty much clear i hope uh, that i am able to make you understand that how you can implement this solution what is the idea behind it how you can work with a similar kind of problem statement in future and also one more thing if you are working with let's say windows system or mac system the the entire thing will remain same only the commands will differ right it might happen that a certain command is working on a macbook or on a windows but the same command is not working for both right either it is working on windows or let's say mac okay but what you can do is like whatever system you are using you may uh, try commands for that particular system and also if i remember it correctly there was a bonus point in case you can come up with a common uh, solution where you can simply pass the requirements let's say browser and url and if you run your application whether on a mac system or a windows system you your program should run if you are able to come up with such solution then you will get a bonus point from browser stack so try it out let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts and what are your different approaches you are coming up through i hope the uh, basic understanding is clear so that is what i wanted to provide you from this video so i hope you may have learned new things from this video if you learn something please like this video and share this video with your friends and for more such videos please consider subscribing me thank you for watching see you next time